All right, guys. I don't like to film from my vehicle, but uh, it's been a crazy killer week for me, and uh, busy as all get out, so it's what I have to do. I'm sorry it's not as professional as I like it to be. No backdrop, no anything. But, uh, you know, have you ever had those days where you're in the gym or in the academy or, you know, wherever it is you are, and, man, it just seems like everybody around you is getting it and you aren't. You know, you're in the gym and everybody around you, you look around and like it's all six pack abs and like biceps or like, you know, nice looking butts. And like, you're like, man, how the, why do, what am I doing here? You know, or like you're at the academy and, and, uh, you know, it, it's, everybody's like flowing and moving and going through the techniques and you're just like, I am freaking lost. How am I not getting this? Guys, my name is Bill Jones, head instructor of Top Level Martial Arts in beautiful downtown Cuyahoga Falls. I am a black belt under Master Pedro Sauer, and uh, you're watching Professor's Corner, or in today's, today's version, Professor's Car. So, um, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting. Jiu-Jitsu, or, or learning in general, is a very interesting topic to me. It's part of why I do what I do. I find it intriguing seeing people learn the process of learning the steps they go through the phases they go through and where they end up from where they started those are all uh really really important things and 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 uh it's important to understand that process it's not easy and i believe that nothing worth doing in this life is ever going to be easy but that's like a I find that saying to be something that doesn't really address the topic. Yeah, we know nothing's going to be easy, but Jesus, isn't there a break? Give me a break somewhere, right? I'm going to tell you guys a secret, and this is something I don't tell a lot of people. I'm probably not the most skilled person who, who trains in my academy. Probably not. And I certainly won't be in about 10 years. You know, I'm almost 40. I'll be 40 this year. Um... You know, in 10 years, I'm going to be 50. You think I'm going to be beating 25 or, you know, 25, 30 year old black belts 20 years younger than me? Probably not. But I can tell you what I am, and that is that I am the largest encyclopedia in my academy. Um, I definitely know the technique and the mechanics, and I can see things that, that make sense and don't make sense. And for me, that's that's where I need to be. And I think for the average person, if you're the average guy training jiu-jitsu or the average woman training jiu-jitsu, you know, don't try to be the super athlete. You know, don't try to compare yourself to that person. And again, I realize that's a cliche thing to say. Don't compare yourself to others. But let's be honest, we all do it. We all look at that guy who's picking it up and just able to murder everybody with it after like seeing it one time. And we think, man, why can't that be me? Life's just not fair that way, my friends. And there's probably something that you do in life that is uh, every bit as unfair to somebody, the people around you. And maybe you don't even realize you're able to do it. You know what I mean? Like, you just pick, there's something that you're really good at. You don't even think twice about it. And other people are like, why, why can't I do that? And it might just be something like time management or, or the way you are with your family. Or, or you know, like I, I have lots of friends that I look at how they are with their family. And this is... This is actually a deep cut for me. This is an emotional cut. And I'm like, man, I wish I could be half the dad that guy is. You know what I mean? Like, there's that. And, and it's it's where you put your focus. It's where you put your time. But it's also just naturally what you're good at. I have been teaching since I was in sixth grade. In sixth grade, I was asked to start helping tutor kids in fifth grade in math and reading. And it's like, that. that's just something I've always been good at. I've always been good at communicating information getting it away around uh, you know getting it over in a way that makes sense to people so don't let it get you down you know it and it will i know it will but don't let it beat you up when when you see that people around you are picking up techniques or or able to tap you or or you know find a different gauge to to test yourself everybody wants to test themselves with the tap and be like man i got tapped i must suck you know everybody's going to tap Everybody's going to tap. Everybody's going to tap. Um, it's just the way it is. So don't let that bother you guys. You don't have to be the best in your academy. But you do need to be the best that you can be. You do need to work hard. You do need to show up. You do need to go through the motions. You do need to sweat. You do need to grind. Those things 
will make you better. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like what I'm saying, leave a comment, a like, share it, subscribe, whatever other stuff that YouTube says will make this video show up for people. Do all those things. I really appreciate it. And once again, I'm sorry about the car. I'll come at you later this week with a uh, more professional video. For now, I'm Bill Jones. You're watching Professor's Corner. Have a great day.